you have access to a wide variety of ab workouts, but wouldn't it be good to know which ones work the best and which ones don't? After all, if we can concentrate on the greatest exercises, we will acquire our desired six-pack abs more quickly. Fortunately, ACE, commonly known as the American Council on Exercise, carried out a study to evaluate various ab movements and determine which ones gave the best benefits. I've been favoring some ab exercises over others for quite some time, so it's nice to see that all of the exercises they claim to be the most effective are ones I've been promoting for quite some time. The study was carried out a number of years ago, but it compares 13 different exercises. The researchers primarily focused on muscle stimulation and activity and ranked the exercises from best to worst. So let's get started with the top 6 exercises, starting with exercise number 6, the long arm crunch. I always advocate trying to perform this exercise with weight. The longer arm crunch primarily targets the rectus abdominis, which is the muscle that most people refer to as the six-pack. Although you can perform this exercise without a weight, I recommend taking a moderately heavy weight load and pointing it straight up towards the ceiling. This is because a 2009 study found that using weights for your abs can significantly increase stimulation of the rectus abdominis. Back to the long arm crunch, you want to crunch up just enough to lift your shoulder blades up off the ground and then come back down while keeping your arms straight towards the ceiling the entire time. It won't take much to feel the burn from this exercise, but this is an effective way to build your abs because you can gradually overload them by increasing the weight over time. If you're unsure of the precise number of sets to do with this exercise and the other exercises that I'm about to discuss, stay tuned because at the end I'll give you an excellent ab workout that includes most of these top 6 movements but moving on next up on the list ranking as the 5th best exercise for abs is the leg press. Perform 20 reps with your body weight and your hands obviously stacked on top of each other. We have the torso track, often known as the ab rollout. You probably won't be lifting weights for either of these exercises, but by learning to roll out further with practice, you can gradually increase the amount of stress placed on your abs. To begin, get on all fours with your arms locked out and the ab will place directly under your chest. For beginners, do no more than one rep of this exercise. This is one of my favorite ab exercises and not a lot of reps are needed to break down a lot of muscle tissue and get stronger next we have the vertical leg crunch once you get comfortable as a beginner sit your hips back to give you some leverage once you're ready you can proceed to more advanced levels where you roll out all the way to the point where your body winds up being almost flat on the ground at the end of the movement. This exercise begins with the legs raised straight towards the ceiling, either folding your hands across your chest or once you're ready for a weight, I suggest using a dumbbell and holding it across your chest or placing it behind your head to make it more severe. Crunches ranked third in the survey as the third best exercise for abs. On a fitness ball when people speak to an exercise ball, they typically mean a stability ball or a BOSU ball. As I've addressed stability balls several times in earlier films, I wholeheartedly concur that using stability balls can help produce more effective ab exercises. A related study on the BOSU ball discovered that when an unstable surface, such as a BOSU ball, was placed beneath your lower back, both the upper and lower abs were roughly 20% more active. This finding serves to further validate the theory. I firmly believe that using a ball behind your lower back increases the range of motion and the negative contraction in the movement, making it a more effective exercise. The majority of muscle breakdown happens during the negative portion of any movement, so working your stabilizer muscles more on an unstable surface isn't the only benefit. Because the BOSU ball is a more unstable surface for stability ball setups, I prefer the stability ball even more. Roll out from a sitting position on the stability ball until the arc of your lower back is on the ball. Be careful not to roll out too far. Because if you don't roll out far enough, your upper back will be resting on the ball, and if you do, you'll fall off the ball when you come down. Once you find the sweet spot, lower yourself with your hands by your sides, let your back fully extend, and crunch up again to lift your shoulder blades off the ball. Make sure not to straighten your legs to help you up during the movement. The captain's chair, which I frequently describe as another form of this exercise known as the hanging leg lift or the hanging knee tuck, is the second most effective ab workout out of the 13 studies we've done. You can perform the hanging knee tuck with a weight between your feet, but I advise spending a lot of time perfecting this move before progressing. The key to remember with the leg raises and hanging knee tucks is that you want to strive to lift your hips up. And it's not simply about elevating your legs up and down while pressing your knees into your chest because if you don't do this, you'll end up training your hip flexors rather than your abs. The bicycle setup, also known as the bicycle maneuver, was the most effective exercise in this study, much to my surprise. One advanced variation of this exercise, which I refer to as the Navy SEAL sit-up and frequently use in my ab routine, is the Navy SEAL sit-up. But first, let's start with a basic bicycle sit-up. 
start with your hands behind your head. It's not simply about elevating your legs up and down while pressing your knees into your chest because if you don't do this, you'll end up training your hip flexors rather than your abs. The bicycle setup, also known as the bicycle maneuver, was the most effective exercise in this study, much to my surprise. One advanced variation of this exercise, which I refer to as the Navy SEAL sit-up and frequently use in my ab routine, is the Navy SEAL sit-up. But first, let's start with a basic bicycle sit-up. Start with your hands behind your head. And backslash exercise I still think that the weighted decline sit-up is the best ab workout since it incorporates the biggest range of motion, allows you to achieve your maximum rectus abdominis strength, and causes the least amount of muscle breakdown. I wish they had compared more ab exercises. I sincerely hope that this video has been helpful to you. If so, please consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell symbol to be notified when we upload new content. Thank you for viewing.